This is the completed dress we made the other day. You can see the pretty pleats in it in the back. That is just a tank top that we used and we cut. And then the material that we pleated and sewed onto the tank top. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today. Okay, before we get started sewing the dress together, we um, have to get all of our items that we're going to need for sewing so we're not looking around the house when it's time to use them. So I have the iron, I have my scissors and my measuring tape, and my pins and needles. You can see I have, these are the straight pins, and then I have the needles here. I have different color thread, and then I have my marking pencil, which uh, if you have a white crayon or colored pencil, you can use that, because that's all I've got is just a white colored pencil to uh, mark where I want to cut the fabric, okay? And those are just some of the things you're going to need, and we'll get to sewing up that dress. Here's the material that my daughter chose. She likes this striped for the skirt part. And then we're going to take this uh, gray tank top right here and we're going to cut it right there and we're going to sew it up and then we're going to, I'll show you how to cut this to length and then pleat it and sew it onto here. It's really very easy. Okay, now we have our model wearing the tank top inside out so that we can use our, my, our pencil to mark it. And we're just going to come up underneath here because she actually wants it to... Uh, come from here where the skirt is going to come from here down. So we're going to give ourselves some room to do a hem. So I'm just going to mark right underneath the bust area with my white pencil. Again, you can have your white crayon, okay? Or you can use a pen because this is the inside of the tank top and it's not going to matter. So now we have it marked right here and then we're going to have her remove it and cut it. Okay, now we've laid it back out. It's inside out, and you can see where our mark is. We're just going to take our scissors, and we're going to cut a straight line straight across right here. Okay, and now you're going to have two pieces like this. All right, we're not going to use this one now. Of course, I don't like to get rid of too much material, so I will probably use this somewhere. Okay, so now we have the top of the dress started. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to lay out the other material and get it cut for the skirt. Okay, now I have my material. This is a step I usually try to avoid because I, I don't really care for ironing too much. But you can see how it's really, really, really wrinkled. And I want to make sure that when I cut it, I'm able to cut it straight across. So I'm going to iron my material so that it's nice and straight. Okay, before I finish, the ironing is not my strongest suit, okay? So, as long as it's flat, I know there's still some wrinkles in there, and other people are probably better at ironing than I am. So now that we've finished our ironing and got it as flat as we would like, and it's nice and even, I'll show you how to measure the model, or you can do this on yourself, and I'll just show you the points to where you need to be so that we can measure out the length of our material. Okay, now get your measuring tape that I showed you you needed to have. And remember we cut the last tank top to right about here. Okay, so we're going to put the top of our measuring tape there. And we're just going to bring it all the way down to the length that we want it to be. Okay, some of you may want it longer. Some of you may want a shorter dress. This dress is about 23 inches from here to the bottom. Did you want it shorter than that? No. No, so she wants to keep it at 23 inches. Now we're going to add an inch because we need to have a hemming point. So we're going to mark it at 24 inches from the bottom of the bust down. Okay, just like that. Okay, now turn your material inside out and lay it back down flat and then take your measuring tape and have it 24 inches from the bottom top there and then we're going to take our pencil we're going to mark here the very top and then we're going to cut it across now in order to get those pleats 
you need to make sure you have a lot of material to pleat it up. Okay? And I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, in order to make these little pleats right here, okay, most uh, time when you do a dress, you would measure the waist. And we're actually not going to do that. We know her waist, when we measured it, was about 22, 23 inches. We added a few inches. But we want to get these pleats in here, so we're going to make sure we cut extra material. When we go to pin that in there, we'll make the pleats. Now that we've uh, cut our material to the length that we needed, all right, we've gotten rid of the excess material, moved it out of our way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sew this up, this edge up right here to the other side so that it makes one big circle before we pin it into the tank. Okay, as you can see, we're just trying to measure up where we're going to put it on the other one, and you can see all this extra material right here. We have that so we're able to make the pleats. Okay, so we're going to sew up, measure these two here like I said a minute ago. We're going to sew that together to connect it. 